Hello everyone, this is Lisa with Grace and Old Paper. I bring to you today a flip through of a journal I have been working on for quite a while. It's a real labor of love. I have spent a lot of time on this um, uh, overthinking as I usually do. <laughs> But, um, so I just wanted to show you a flip through today. If you are seeing this video, that means it is listed on my Etsy channel, I mean, my Etsy shop. Um, when it sells, I will put the word sold on this video so you'll know. But, um, yeah, she's going to be listed for sale. I am calling her Eleanor. I don't know why, but she just looked like an Eleanor to me, sitting there reading in the garden petting her little kitty cat um, but yeah so this is my flip through um, start out with um, I made this I call them spine dangles I don't know what everybody else calls them but it's a removable pretty thing I call it her jewelry um, it's made from a lot of uh, lace and ribbons and um, some little pearl strands and repurposed jewelry where I took apart you know broken necklaces and things and um, just repurpose things this started its life as an earring <laughs> um, and I only had one of for some reason it was in a bag of broken jewelry I had obtained from somewhere so I bent the back over so it made it um, a charm basically I thought it looked really pretty on there so like I said it is removable so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off so that we can discuss the book and it just slips right in there. Uh, this book started itself, started its life as just an ordinary book. Uh, it was a romance book, I believe, which seems quite appropriate. But I loved the the color of it, and I just thought it screamed uh, to be turned into a lacy, pretty junk journal. Um, it is. Let's see about six and an eighth wide by nine and a quarter and the spine is about one and a quarter it is a little gator mouth if you know what that means you know gator mouth because i couldn't hold myself back <laughs> from making stuff for it <laughs> so she is chock full of little pretty things um Wanted to make more, but I finally told myself I needed to stop. <laughs> so, um, to start with, the spine has been covered with two layers of material to cover up the original title that was there. And I really wanted this material on here, but it was very see-through. So, but I love the way that the scallop fell into the dip of the book right there. Um, then I had this little lady that I wanted on there and I put her, she came from a book that I got at a, um, antique store quite a while back. Um, it's Victoria's Secret Beauty of Love. I have this one and I have Gardens of Love and I have gotten quite a bunch of images out of those books. And there's also the plus the book smells really good. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I put her on the cover, and if you see, she's, she's petting her little kitty cat down there. So I made sure that the lace didn't cover up the kitty cat. Um, I put ribbon around it, like for a frame, and then this lace on top of it. And then all of the buttons you see are vintage buttons, and I have hand sewed them on, as well as the pearls. I hand sewed those, and I believe all those came from... Uh, repurposed jewelry not sure where this little piece came from I don't know if it was from lace or from some piece of clothing that I got at a thrift store I have no clue no clue on that one it's in my stash <laughs> and there's other little pace, pieces of uh, lace and stuff there and more pearls and then down here this particular piece um, came from I remember this one specifically. This came from a, a like an old dress I got from the thrift store. And it had several of these on the collar. 
So I, I have more in my possession. I've never known quite what to do with them, but I found a home for one. So it has been carefully adhered to the book. And then, like I said, the, the um, buttons and pearls are all sewn on there. So that makes her outside. She does have a ribbon closure to help her stay closed. And I have filled this thing full of my prettiest laces. So there's lots of good things to look at. The threads um, I have left on there for the most part. And some people like them, some people don't. So if you're one of those that does not, they have all been backstitched. So it's completely safe to just snip them right off. Really easy. So let's take a look inside the book of Miss Eleanor and her friends. So on the inside, I have used the last of my big pretty lace I had. I'm going to have to find me some more. This was given to me in, in Happy Mail a, a couple years ago. And this is the last of it. Kind of makes me sad. <laughs> it's just really pretty lace. I have made uh, this little image into a tag. This also came from that same book. I thought she was just really pretty. Picking peaches, gathering peaches in the garden. And then I... Um, I fixed this little piece of ribbon as a um, little whatever you call that thing <laughs> top of the tag and there's journaling space on the back made this little booklet um, there's tea dyed papers on the inside and I have sewed it together so it makes like a nice little booklet that you can journal in uh, for those of you who don't know tea dyed papers are apparently not um, acid free they are not photo safe I don't know what makes it that way. I don't know why. I've just, just what I've been told. So if you want to put photos on this paper, then just back your photo with scrapbook paper and you'll be fine. Uh, you know, just kind of put a, a backing on it and it'll be fine. Otherwise you can journal or whatever in here. And that just slips right in this front pocket. And then we have our little uh, front page here. She's another image from the book. I just thought she was very soft and romantic looking. This does come out if you want to put your own photo in there. And I have adhered some little pearls and some lace snippets. A little paper doily. I'll kind of hold this up because I want to see if I can get a little closer to the screen. I forgot to zoom it in before I started. This is one of my favorite laces that I had in my possession. It is just soft and lush and beautiful. Um, it did start its life being a lace about this wide. I had to cut it down and make it to where it would fit. I just love that. Um, I have inked all of the edges in order to make it a little more age looking. I have various papers, different paper sizes in here to make it more interesting. This is a tea dyed paper. You can generally tell by the color and the crinkliness of tea dyed papers. It's a little different and I love that crinkly sound. This little uh, tag, this little journal card I already had in my possession. I had done this a while back and never found a home for it and I thought it looked really pretty in here. This little lady also came from that book. I just thought that was such a sweet romantic picture. And I had fun with this one because recently I got an order from Timu and one of the things I got was um, postcard stamps. So I have turned this into a vintage postcard, which I just love this. I, I, I just think that's really cool. So it's a pretend vintage postcard. <laughs> this is a hanky. And I have made it into a fabric flip, a, a, a flip, whatever you call this thing. It's not a fabric flip, whatever it is. I made it one of those. Um, and you can journal on here or do whatever. Just some uh, notepad paper I had. This is um, a printable I had, and I will have to find out who that is. Uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. 
I got it from Etsy. Matter of fact, oh, what I'll do is I'll just put a link down below. Um, but I, I did do it. It's a digital download, and I've used a few of the images in here. Just thought that was really cute. And then it made it into a little pocket, and I have a little tag and this little envelope, which was a uh, free printable I had off of a Facebook Facebook group one time. I've had this for a while, and these two, I believe, were the same. It's little miniature postcards. And it just slipped right in there. This paper was um, computer paper. Um, the kind like you do invitations on, and I tea-dyed it which gives it that nice crinkly. But it also helped bring out the rose pattern on the on the interior and I just really thought that was really beautiful. This is um um like a journal paper and I tea dyed it. More lace and this little aged safety pin with this little pearl. This is not actually sewed on this paper. I adhered it to the, a little strip of uh, paper and then glued it on. So you can faintly see it through there, but not very much. I did some stenciling up at the top corner. This is from a field book and I tea dyed it. Uh, tea dyed music paper to give it that age look. This sticker <laughs> came from a book my daughter gave me, one of my daughters gave me for Christmas. Um, this is it. It was an antiquarian sticker book. Some of the images in here are really, really weird, but it also has really pretty ones like that. Uh, this is one from there too. I made this into a side tuck. Uh, the, these, I believe, are Tim Holtz wallpaper. Um, I got given this in Happy Mail a while back, too. But I believe that's what it is. And then I just adhered some um, more of that uh, journal paper to it. Tea dyed journal paper. Just give you some more journaling space. Tea dyed envelope. This little lady came from that same book. And it has another piece of the Tim Holtz wallpaper. And I just left that in there for journaling or whatever. This um, music paper, I used some of my stamps and did some flowers and a little butterfly. On this side, oh, and it has this little charm on there that's like a little fake diamond. This side, I used one of my pieces of lace and I got this idea off uh, somebody's YouTube channel. I watched so many different junk journalers um, and someone did this and I cannot for the life of me remember who it was but you would hear uh, I used vintage dictionary page behind there so you can hear it um, and it gives it a little more stability to the lace and some interest behind there there was some reason I used this particular paper and I can't remember what it was I think it had elegant on it somewhere but I think you've, I've covered it up <laughs> Um, just a piece of scrapbook paper that I did the same as the other one. Uh, this is tea dyed paper and just embellished it a little bit. And it has a hidden butterfly behind there. Uh, the other part of the field guide, field paper, whatever it was. This um, is actually came from my Timu order. This was a napkin and I thought it was stunningly beautiful and I just adhered it to the back of the scrapbook paper. Uh, it's just that's so pretty more tea dyed journal paper tea dyed paper this uh, was originally out of a book and it had a quote in the center and I cut it out to make it like a frame and then put her in there and uh, there's journaling space you can take this and put your own image here if you want to or you can put something on the back, or you can take this out and do something different altogether. A little piece of ribbon. A 
this <laughs> I've been trying to remember where I got this idea from for the life of me I can't remember it because um, like I said I watched YouTube videos and journaled along with somebody or or crafted along with somebody but it just folds down and there is a little uh, notebook I made in here little tea dyed papers in it and then it has a couple of uh, pre-made little tags in it and then I made this one to go in here it has this pretty little piece of jewelry on it I'll fold it back up another piece of lace another stencil tea dyed journal page tea dyed music page another sticker a couple of more stickers and a little tiny butterfly more stenciling tea dyed paper this was um, I believe a vintage hanky I had and um, it used to be white and I tea dyed it and I wanted to sew it into the it is sewn into the signature so it's in there really well um, I have seen people like Johanna on YouTube actually use these like she'll she'll take one and she staples stuff to it my daughter also pointed out if you wanted to you could go in and embroider it on it and that would be really pretty to embroider something on there and make it your own that would be really pretty but I just love the thought of it in this in here and plus it kind of sticks out the edges and adds a little interest a little more lace pretty little card I had more tea dyed papers this was one heck of a fussy cut <laughs> this one took me a little while <laughs> and then I put um, some um, what do you call them things stuff out of a um, photo album I, I adhered it to the back of it and then uh, put this little card in there and she is also from that book it has journaling space on the back and it just slips right back in. If you can go in, go in straight instead of crooked like I did. And then it is a flip up. So there is uh, journaling space on the back. And that is uh, naturally aged right there. So it should be photo safe. The back where it folded over was the same stuff. And I didn't really like it on the back so I covered it up with this little thing I already had and then made it into a top tuck and put these ladies in there also from the book it's got a little uh, poem from William Shakespeare on beauty and it just tucks right up in there this I already had in my stash as well and I, I thought it looked pretty good in here so I love the flowers it's from some kind of French book. I'm about to put a couple of tags in here. There's that one. And this little lady came from the book too. And this came from the Etsy printable I got. I believe this is my daughter, one of my daughter's favorite tags because of the high heel shoe. <laughs> Another sticker. This um, right here was a, a craft along I did um, following a YouTube tutorial and it's from a lady named Julie and her channel is Camellia Crafts Designs and I just love listening to her talk um, I can just put on her her videos and just listen to her talk all the time it's a beautiful voice I love it but it takes two junk mail envelopes and uh, to make this little thing and I have this piece here that was also a Tim Holtz um, wallpaper that is um, a scan of one of my tablecloths this behind there so it gives you journaling space or you can remove this and put whatever you want in there on the inside this was a fussy cut I had and then this is actually a vintage postcard that I had in my possession it, it is the Easter one but I loved it because of the the woman's shoe and the pretty flowers and everything and it sparkles I don't know if you can see that but it sparkles 
this thing was mailed in 1906. <laughs> I like that this person mailed it, but didn't, it just says lovingly, I think it's Mamie. <laughs> That just slips right in there. And then behind here, I have, and it makes a pocket. I have another lady from the book. And you can either leave her in here or take her out or use her as a bookmark even. This was a free printable I had, again. I love free printables. <laughs> and I just put in a couple little cards. This came from the Etsy download. And I'm not sure where I got that one, to be honest. Not sure. But it's pretty. You know, we end up with so many things in our possession and just sometimes can't remember where we get everything. Again, the strings, you can cut them off if you want. I loved this lace. It's so pretty. Delicate, feminine. Love it. This was from the Etsy printable. I made it into a corner tuck. I uh, made this tag to go in there. These little stickers, um, these little see-through stickers came from my Timu order. I just thought they were really pretty. They look like pressed flowers to me. More of the Tim Holtz wallpaper. Just a really pretty pattern. The note notepad paper. This is a fabric pocket that I put in here. Put this little fussy cut on there. And then this little lady, she came from that book too. It's got the She Walks in Beauty Like the Night little poem on there. And then I made this tag out of Tim Holtz wallpapers and part of the uh, Etsy printable. Again with the threads, cut if you wish. <clears throat> this shows you that you can use every piece of your uh, journaling papers because these are two off cuts off of some of the scrapbook paper and I just used them as border and it looks really pretty adds a little interest to the page or tea dyed papers the back of this scrapbook paper was stark white and it's still kind of white, but I what I did is I ran it through my copier and scanned some of my um, linens that I have just to give it a little interest. More uh, lace, more stenciling. This is a fabric flip with pretty, real pretty little lace at the top. Really super soft. I've had this fabric in my possession for a lot of years and uh, finally found a home for this piece. And it is uh, put on uh, tea dyed paper. Another tea dyed envelope, and in this one is part of the Etsy uh, download I had. And then this card I have made a long time ago and had it in my stash and finally found a home for it. It's just a collage of all kinds of different things and the little pearls on the butterfly. Now you are welcome to take out any of the tags and cards and stuff that are in here and put your own stuff in. Um, or, I don't know why I'm having trouble here. Or, um, you know, use it and put stuff on the back of it. Whatever you want to do. The, if you take out a lot of the stuff, it will thin the book down some. But then if you put stuff back in, it's going to thicken it back up. <laughs> This was a stamp um, as well as a fussy cut on top of it. There's the other half of that embroidered linen I had that I scanned. Tea dyed papers. Um, I just got this trim at Walmart the other day. Isn't that the prettiest trim? Look at that. From Walmart. Go figure. This is again part of the Etsy printable. I made it into a corner tuck. And then this little lady came from that book as well uh, with a couple of my little Timu flower stickers. And it is journaling friendly. 
and then uh, another classic cut and some more pretty lace um, my daughter made me my labels I just got those so all my journals will now have that on there crafted by Lisa Grace and old paper and like I said the last of my lace it's another one of these booklets um, it's got tea dyed papers in it and it sits right in there and I just learned how to do this the other day from Julia Camellia Crafts Design I made my own paper bag it is a little skinny little paper bag but it is fully functional if you so choose to use it that way if you want to use it just as a pocket you can glue this little flap down and then it will just function as a pocket but I've decorated it with a butterfly with little pearls paper doily and this little lady who came from that book as well and she just slips right down in there also um and this is this is the book in entirety right there but, oh isn't that pretty look at all that i love all the lace how it's just spilling out of there ah, so pretty but whoever buys this book will also get um you know besides this we'll also get um i have made a journaling card <coughs> pardon me um if you're unfamiliar what they are when you're writing in your journal and you come across you know a delicate page like this if you will slip this journaling card behind there because this is hard cardboard if you slip this behind there you can write on it without it damaging and denting the page and possibly popping through so you can you can do that and you know you can you can actually leave it in the book if you wish and it adds an extra layer of lace you can stick it wherever you want and it just sits in there so whoever buys it will be getting that as well and one last thing I've made this little uh, booklet of things this poem actually came out of that book as well beautiful ladies and I have, let's see, I already had these uh, collage boards and I just made some pockets out of them and uh, stamped on them a little bit. And in here I have uh, some of the off cuts. There is some of the, these are all tea dyed and I put a note on here that these are tea dyed and they're not photo safe, not acid free, but there's some of those. There is um, some of the images I did not use that I had printed um, that you can put in and include some funny little quote cards so that's in there plus these are all off cuts of scrapbook papers um, these plain papers and here's another piece of it here these are naturally aged um, so they did not go in the tea dyed category so you're free to put photos on them or whatever because they're naturally aged if someone so desired you could take this whole thing everything in it everything on it and use it in the junk journal um, everything uh, matches goes with it um, is usable so you could take the part this whole thing and use all the bits and pieces if you so desired so that comes with it as well so I hope you have enjoyed this look into Lady Eleanor and her friends and um, if you're interested in it, go to my Etsy shop. It is Grace and Old Paper, and um, I will have it listed momentarily. So may God bless you and keep you safe.